Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to our Let's Play Tales of Symphonia! Last time, we got back here um, to Welgia for the second time. And um, in this episode, uh, starting off, uh, well in this video is mostly, most of it is just going to be side quests. But starting off, we're going to go over here. What is this? This is... This is the Darius Emblem. Darius Emblem? It's a seal that blocks the path to Mythos's castle, although I didn't know where it was. Then with this, the trap should be deactivated. Let's keep going. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, uh, if we go over there to that teleporter, we actually can go to Mythos's castle. But we're not gonna be doing, um, we're not gonna be doing that, because after we get to Dare Someone, quite a few side quests open up, so... Uh, the next uh, couple videos are actually just going to be doing side quests and actually fighting a couple optional bosses. Um, so yeah, that's what the most uh, that's what the next couple episodes are going to be pretty much just side quests. So if you're not interested interested in that, just skip ahead the next two next couple episodes. Uh, we have to skip uh, Dare Emblem. Alright, so, uh, after a very long time of not being able to record after my capture card broke and a bunch of internet issues, um, glad to be able to start uploading again. Um, hopefully I can just finally finish the series. As much as I've been enjoying it, it's been going on for a really long time. This is like part 60 or 61, something like that. I can't even remember anymore, but yeah, this series has been go gone, going on for a really long time, so I'm kind of glad to be uh, coming near the end, because we're almost finished with this. Um, yeah, if we would have continued to Mephos' castle, that was actually the last area in the entire game, but again, we're going to do some side quests first. Um, not every single side quest, there are going to be some... Uh, optional bosses. I'm gonna wait until. Um, actually, I'm gonna wait until after I show off the ending, cause I don't want to be too overleveled for the final boss. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna worry about that later. Uh, continuing on here, we should be almost through here. Uh, there's all these enemies. I really don't want to fight. I really like the background of this area. I don't know if I said that before, but I think it looks really cool. Like, Darius Carlon. Um... I don't know, I just think it looks really awesome. Uh, clearly I don't have much to talk about. Okay, here we are. Uh... Skit, no turning back. Don't worry, we have plenty of time to go do some random side quest to totally interrupt the pace. <laughs> anyway, we can just return to the destroyed seal room. Um, Alright, so here we are. Um, okay, so now, starting off, uh, the first side quest we're going to be doing is actually in Heimdall. Well, there's actually a couple things that we can do here. Doing Heimdall, so that's where we're gonna be going first. Um, 
We're up to only five minutes. Okay. Making some decent time. Quick jump. And here we are. Now we're gonna start by talking to this boy with the green hair. Protozoans became extinct a long time ago. I'm not making it up. Protozoans really do exist. You believe me, don't you? What's a protozoan? The first animal born in this world. Do you know about it? No, I've never heard of it. Protozoans are primeval uh, life forms. They continue to evolve throughout their lives. Evolve? Protozoans are born as single cell um, life forms. In their first evolution, they evolve into a creature known as an aquilean. Aquin? A form that looks much like a fish. After that, it evolves into a bird like life form called an Eros. And then um, a life form that um, runs on land called Arshis. And then um, next into a Fenrilla, and finally into a human who hunts evil. A single species changes its form that much? Yes, it is truly a life form that spends its whole life evolving. Uh, evolving. However, because of their abilities, they were um, used during the battle in the ancient war and became extinct. The last protozoan was seen 4,000 years ago. But I saw it! I saw it was a protozoan evolved into Arshis! Are you sure it wasn't something else? Many um, living things um, run across the land. And here comes Noish. We can probably see where this is going. Arshis! What, the legendary Arshis? I knew it! I saw it in a book! Arshis has big ears and runs fast like the wind. What are you talking about? Noish is a dog. Noish, is that the that Arshis's name? I'm telling you, he's a dog. It's an Arshis. Arshis is the, the evolved form of a protozoan? Yeah, how do you um how do you make mistake him for anything else? What? Noish isn't a dog? I've been wondering about that. He's an awfully strange looking for a dog. But he has a tail, and he howls, so that means he's either a dog or a wolf, right? He doesn't seem wolfish, so I thought he was a dog. Protozoans are a proud ancient species. They are the second oldest after the elves. Really? Okay, but Noish is Noish. I don't care if he's a pro or not. It's protozoan. <laughs> pro. Um, okay, so that's the first thing, uh, Cyclist we can do here in Heimdall. So, uh, Lloyd still seems pretty convinced that he's a dog, but... So yeah, that's actually pretty interesting, uh, cause, yeah, I did say how... Yeah, Noish never really seemed like a dog. At all. <laughs> um, what's a half-elf doing here? Ricardo, have you forgotten that uh, we were saved by these people? Bah, if the elves were truly, um, were to truly li rise up, we could do any... You don't, you didn't do anything yourselves, so shut up. That's... It is as this boy says, we decide to stay neutral. Since we are the ones that uh, made that choice, your words serve only as an insult to those people um, to us elves. But I know I won't lose to this half-elf. I have trained under you, Master Crowley. Let me try fighting him. We don't have time for that. If mana is exhausted, mana will be unusable. And soon the earth will lose all its power and be destroyed. When peace comes, I'll duel with you. Of course, there's no question that I'll win. Then hurry and save this land, come back and challenge me. I'll be waiting for you, so don't die. I apologize for the rude behavior of my apprentice. But I think we um he was cheering on Genus. Cheering on Half Elf in his own way. Yeah, I think so too. I promise I'll come back alive and have a magic duel with him. To do that, you're going to fight against those powerful angels, yes? As a show of my appreci appreciation for saving our lives, I shall pass my techniques on to you. What, but I'm a half-elf. Now you're saying something that we don't have time to argue about. I have passed this art to Ricardo as well. Learn it for a day, you will duel with him. Genius, go ahead and learn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Please. Yes. Genius learned Meteor Storm. This is the most powerful spell in the entire game. Well, excluding Mystic Arts. Uh, Genius obtained the uh, title of Mana Master. I'll use this spell and regenerate the world. Take care. So I plan to show that off. Um, so when that time comes, I shall grant my secret art to the victor. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll do my best. Even though I, I don't think there will really be any fighting in this episode. Um, in the next episode, or hopefully the next episode, we'll be fighting when we fight the optional bosses. Um, yeah, I can equip that title to him. Uh, Man of Master. Okay. Um, actually, I just remembered. Off screen, uh, I do I do kind of want to show this off because I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, I did get a trophy that I thought was really hilarious. Zelos Impact. <laughs> Zelos has attained ten uh ten titles. Uh, he's killing it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was just so amazing. Zelos Impact. This is like the best trophy ever. All right, so yeah, I wanted to show that off. Uh, but anyway, that's all. Uh, that's all we need to do here in Him Heimdall. Um, so now on to the next side quest. We're gonna go to Silverant. Uh, in particular, we're going to Luin. So let's head there. We're only up to 11 minutes, so uh, let's see how much we can actually get done. Uh, didn't need to do that. Okay, yeah, go to Silverant. Alright, here we are in Lumen. Uh, we have the uh, we have to get rain statues, so we're talking about statues that were built in Lumen. Uh, yeah, that one's, uh, a lot of the uh, statue ones are pretty funny, but, um, especially Sheena's, you can probably just assume, guess what that one's about, so hopefully we'll see it, um, <clears throat> alright, um, uh, I might as well rest at the inn, why not, even though we're not gonna be doing any fighting, still, uh, might as well. Night. Okay. Okay, so yeah, this next uh, side quest is in Luin. So, uh, we're gonna go to um, somewhere over here near the docks. I believe they're over in this direction. Yeah, alright. Okay, we're gonna want to talk to this guy right here. Oh, sir, you have good taste. What? Uh, if you act now, I'll sell this boat for only 3,000 gal. Well, don't you want to buy it? This is 3,000 gal? We can't make it um, out to um, see a boat like this. This is called a houseboat. We're popular in Azuld right now. I didn't see anything like that in Azuld. What? Uh, I mean, it's about to become popular. How about it? It's for your future dream house. For my future, huh? It's a home away from home. A place where you can get all the lovey-dovey for certain girls. Sounds like a place for Zellos. <laughs> Come on, buy it. Uh, I'll take it. Why not? Good boy. Let's write up the contract right now. Okay, here's the contract. Don't lose it. See you around. <laughs> Boy, show me that contract. This is... I knew it! He was trying to trick you. What? What is it? Look at this. It says it's a lease. You just rented this boat for 3,000 gal from a person named Ifried. What? Hey, isn't Ifried the one Leela asked um, us to get uh, her letter to? Wait, it can't be. That was Ifried? Damn it. When I see him next, I'll... Okay, yeah, he didn't even get to finish his sentence. Um... If we go in here, there's really nothing all that special. Not even Wonder Chef or anything. That, would, that seems like it'd be a good place to hide Wonder Chef, but... Nope, absolutely nothing in there. 
Uh, so, we're just gonna wanna exit and re-enter Lumen. Uh, you can see Lloyd's statue up there. Okay, so here's that guy again, Ifreed. Oh, I've been waiting for you, Lloyd. Yo, Ifreed. Hey, you know my name. That's not important. You tricked us. Hey, it's your fault for not checking the contract. Indeed, contracts are absolute. Regal, whose side are you on? Okay, okay, fine. Let's do this. Let's make a new contract. Come um, with me on an adventure across the seven seas. What the heck are you talking about? I'm searching for a legendary treasure left behind by Spiritua. If you help me find that, um, I'll give you the boat. Okay. Are you sure, Lloyd? You're just gonna get tricked again. Lord from Thou number 18, it's better to be deceived than to deceive. I'm gonna try trusting him. Okay, then, let's make let's make the contract. Not again. This time I'll look at it as well. Alright. I don't see any problems. Okay, then I'll sign. Alright, we've got our contract. Time to go, crew. What are you talking about? What else? From this point on, you're my new crew. What? Um, we're just going to um, help you hunt for some treasure. That's why you guys are amateurs. Read the contract carefully. If this contract does an application become a pirate, <laughs> that's impossible. If that was Karos, it must have been double layered. Lloyd signed to becoming a pirate without realizing it. <laughs> if this, our contract is sealed. Now, crew, change out of those flash um, flashy clothes. What the? Why just me? Uh, sorry, I'm low on funds. You have to re uh, represent all of us as a pirate. What? You got a problem? You know, this outfit isn't half bad. Oh well. Hey, I think we'll get along well, Lloyd. Lloyd's taste of clothing is absolutely terrible. Lloyd obtained the title of Argby Hardies. <laughs> Alright, begin the search at once. Begin the, um, begin the search where? Where, um, where else? Search anything related to the Church of Martell from top to bottom. I'll be waiting for you in Haima. Are you going to um, make us do all the work? Stop grumbling. My boat was damaged uh, in a recent earthquake. Now listen, if you find any clues, come to Hima. Damn it. Fine. We'll go look for them. Let's check out the House of Salvation, okay, Lloyd? Okay, um, yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Alright, so we're going to need to visit the, uh, the House of Salvation in a particular order. Uh, first I want to change Lloyd out of this because uh, I just don't really want that. Eternal Swordsman, alright. Uh, we have the skit, the con man. Okay, so, uh, starting off, again, uh, I'm pretty sure we have to visit the Houses of Salvation in a particular order. We're gonna start by going to Asgard's to, um, House of Salvation. Uh, it is the closest after all, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to visit them in this order that I'm going in. Uh, but anyway, coming in here. The Treasure of Spiritua? The ring of Spiritual War on her first pilgrimage is very valuable. Now that you mention it, one of the descendants of the seven disciples of Spiritual was on a pilgrimage. Being a, a descendant of the uh, seven saints, he would most likely know about the treasure which you speak of. He seems to be visiting Houses of Salvation, so you may run into him eventually. Okay, so we're gonna have to search for this guy who's running around other Houses of Salvation. Okay, so, um... Next, we're going to go to Ezalia. My cat is just sitting on my lap right now. I really want her to get off when I'm in the middle of a recording. Uh, 
here we are. The descendant of the seven saints. Uh, you mean High Priest Augusty? So High Priest Augusty is a descendant of the seven saints. You know him? The priests all come to train under grandmother, so... Augusty uh, said that he was going to make an offering of the treasure passed down from Spiritual at the final location on his, of his pilgrimage. Then he headed for the next house. Okay, let's go. Um, so next we're going to head for Palma Costa. Alright, let's go. We flying around these rehards is so fun. <laughs> um, anyway, let's not joking around. Should be somewhere. Okay. What's going on? Since the Chosen went on her journey instead of getting better, uh, the, si the city got destroyed. When, when will Martell wake and save us? Martell saves those who walk on their own two legs and go awaken her. I'm tired of hearing that speech. I want my son back. You! You're the Chosen! Please give me back my son. When Palmacasa was destroyed by the monster, my son was... My son was... I can't. If you're the Chosen, you can do something. Go meet Martell and um, have her bring back my son to life. Bring my son back to life. Are you saying you can't even do that? You're a failure, just like they say. Stop. My son is dead. He died believing that the world was about to be regenerated. This is too cruel. Chosen, I apologize. No, it's my fault. It's because I couldn't save the world. It's not over yet. Our journey is not over. Colette and us, um, we haven't abandoned the world. Yes, we believe in you. By the way, what brings you here today? We're looking for someone named Augusti, uh, Augusti who has the treasure of Spiritia. High Priest Augusti is at the House of Salvation by the Foda, um, the Foda Island boat dock. He was asked to conduct prayers by someone named Ifried. By Ifried? Wait, let's go. Yeah. Alright. Um, I don't know if I actually showed Palmacasa after it got destroyed by the Great Tree. But, uh, in case I didn't, I might as well. Again, I just can't seem to remember, remember anything. Yeah, uh, this is what's left of Palma Costa. We can't actually go over anymore. But as you see, it's kind of destroyed. Um, yeah, we're supposed to, we're gonna go to Foda Dock, and hopefully we can find Augusty there. Okay, here we are. So, uh, here he is. Are you the Chosen? Yes. During the recent Great Disaster, many people lost their lives. Even those that survived are filled with despair because of the disappearance of the Tower of Salvation. Yes. I'm on journey to appease those uh, lost lives and guide those who survived towards hope. And while on this journey, I met a man. Eifried? Yes. He was seeking the treasure of Spiritual in order to benefit those who are unsatisfied. With the complete lack of progress in the world regeneration. However, along the way, that great disaster occurred. His boat was destroyed and all of his companions were lost at sea. He asked me to pray for them, and for those who believed in the world regeneration and in the future. What can I, what can I do? It's true that I failed, but there's still a path. We've, we're searching for a way to save everyone. All you can do is what you are able to do. And when the world has been regenerated... Think back on all those who have lost their lives. Yes. Um, if we just stay here and lament, the situation will only worsen. I'm sure it, it is painful for you, but people must keep looking forward. Yes. Please give this to Eifried. So, we got the Spiritus Ring. This is a ring 
known to be the spiritual's greatest treasure. I freed said that he wanted to um, find a chosen have you pray for his companions. And at the end of my pilgrimage, inform you of the meaning behind this pilgrimage. I understand. I will go meet Eifried. Chosen, I'm counting on you to take care of Eifried and the world. Okay, so Eifried is over in Haima, so uh, we're going to go see him there. Let's get going. Okay, here we are. So, Eifried is uh, located just up here. Did you hear the story chosen? I, because of my incompetence, I apologize. No, you don't need to apologize for me. Um, if you're going to apologize, apologize for my dead crew. Yes. I free. This may sound like an excuse, but please listen. Colette didn't abandon Silveron. We just... Don't say anything. That doesn't sound like an excuse. It is an excuse. I just wanted the Chosen to go on a pilgrimage for my crew. Yes. I'm sure, um, you, you all worked hard for world regeneration. I know that, but I also understand the feelings of those who blame you. Yes, I betrayed their expectations. As long as you understand um, that, then it's fine. There is still a path to world regeneration, right? Yes, and that's why we're um, on a, this journey, searching for a better way. Good. I'm relieved to hear that. I'll dispose of the contract. You can use the boat and women as you please. Uh, same goes for Spiritus Ring. What are you going to do? I think I'll get a boat. I'm looking for a new island that's not on any map. Oh, um, hey, Lloyd, we have that letter, remember? Oh, yeah, um, right, I freed, we have a letter for you. This, this is... Layla's been looking for you for a while, you, you must, uh, you two must be close. Uh, no, hey, will you take this to Layla for me? So now we got I freed's letter. What, give it to her yourself? Shut up, I have my reasons. I'm counting on you, later. Oh, brother. Fine, let's go to his old. Alright. So let's just go deliver that letter in his old. Um, let's go. This guy's having us go all, all over the world. Okay, here's the sword. Uh, so let's just go visit Leela right in here. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I feel like I'm not. What? You have um, a letter from Eifried? What? Just what do you think you're up to? Huh? What are you talking about? Read this letter. To Leela. I'm sorry, but I am unable to return you the money I borrowed by the due date. I'm going, to, I'm going on a new journey. My first mate, Lloyd, who delivered you this letter, will pay off all the money I owe you. Thank you for all you've done for me. Farewell. Alright, pay me back the money. Hey, 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 girl. Uh, aren't you this um, Eifried guy's girlfriend? You've gotta be kidding. I'd never date a bandit like that. I'm a money lender. He said he was going to find a legendary treasure of Mephos or something. They ran off after borrowing money from me. Um, by the way, how much does he owe you? It's 100 million galled with interest. W 100 million? Now, give it back. We don't have that kind of money. Uh, we'll give you Spiritus treasure instead. I suppose it might have some value to a collector. I know, how about selling it to that Koton? Yeah. Uh, wait, just a, just a little. We're going to make a, some, we're going to make some money. All right. Is it true that a letter came from Eifried? Then, take Max with you. What? I can't let, um, let you run away. Give the money to Max. I don't quite understand, but okay. 
Now, hurry up and make that money. Okay, okay, we're off to Han uh, Hakanzia Peak. What? You want uh, to buy this? Uh, you want me to buy this from you? Hmm, so this is a ring worn by Spiritua. Alright, how much? 100 million, Gald. That's ridiculous. I can't pay that. Oh well, then we'll just throw the Spiritua's ring into the sea. What? We're leaving now, Lloyd. Alright, alright. But 100 million gout is too much for just that. Throw something else in to match that price. Alright, we're gonna give you a road pass. What? You're the one that was selling these for 100 million gout, so it's worth that, right? Grr, take it. I'm nervous holding this much money. What if I drop it? Don't worry, just take it. Okay. Okay, now we can go pay her back. We'll tell Leela. Leela, here's the money. 100 million gald. Welcome back, my 100 million gald. Oh, and you too, Max. I've received your payment. With this, I'll mark the debt as paid. I hope you learn from this and to never trust a scoundrel like that again. Yeah, we've probably learned our lesson. Uh, but before, that's not um, all there is to do in this cyclist. We're going to go visit Max uh, over here at the docks. Uh, he is just over here, I believe. Yeah, here we are. There wasn't anything between Leo and, Af and Ifrit after all. Thanks, guys. Why are you thanking us? We didn't do anything. Now Leo will surely look at me. Here's a token of my thanks. So we got Ifrit's hat. I'm really grateful to you. Thank you so much. Alright. So we can actually equip to that. Uh, I'll give it to Genus. Why not? Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this episode. Next time, let's play Tales of Symphonia. We're going to be doing some more side quests. See you guys then.